If you are standing at the edge of a 45 foot precipice looking down into deep, clear water, would you have the guts to jump? Unfortunately, I do not have my sister's DSLR right now because she gave her to Thailand. Just born in the game. So, if you've been following the channel for the last several weeks, you know that I recently started a challenge to push myself outside my comfort zone to do things that. I wouldn't naturally do things that are a little nerve-wracking for me to do. And one thing that I have been a little bit nervous about all my life, ever since I was young, you know, adolescent, teenager, is cliff jumping. Jumping off of high places into water. That's been something that I have wanted to conquer for a while. That's, that's a fear that I've had that I would like to overcome. Since I started this challenge, I decided that now was the time that I take that experience and jump. My friend Andrew knew of a place that had a 20 foot jump and a 45 foot jump up in the mountains into deep clear water. It's a popular place to go. And I researched a little bit about how the proper way to jump and to land is and was prepared to go. All morning, as I'm going, as we're going up there, all morning I'm thinking about this 45 foot jump. I'm thinking, well, maybe, maybe the 20 foot will be enough. Like maybe I won't actually have to do the 45 foot. And I was thinking of all the ways to justify not needing to jump. Really, I wouldn't have to jump from the 45 foot. 20 feet is high enough to do awesome things to, to enjoy. Even as my brain tried to come up with reasons why I didn't have to jump, I also knew in my heart it would be hypocritical for me not to step out my comfort zone and do the risky thing and jump from the high 45 foot cliff. Because here I am encouraging people saying, hey, like let's push ourselves outside our comfort zone, let's take risks. And then if I'm not willing to do that myself, what right do I really have to speak about any of this? And so we get there. Uh, we realize that the water is freezing cold. To jump into freezing cold water takes the breath right out of you. We jump from the 20 foot and, and that's that's great. That's awesome. That's We enjoy that. It's no big deal. We do that for a couple times. And it came to this moment where I realized I have to go take that 45 foot jump. It was a moment either pushing past my fear or letting that fear control me and steal my joy. Yeah, you got this man. So I, I, I get up there, I, I go around the rock, get up on top, go down to where I need to jump, and I'm looking down at that water, and again, I'm just, I'm just kind of wishing that I didn't have to do this. I, my knees start shaking and, and I just, I know that I have to do it but I don't want to do it. I, my body, my mind just won't let me take that step. And the reason this is significant to me, and the reason I wanted to share it with you guys is because I have realized that moment has become a defining moment for me in making big decisions, in, in all of what this channel is about, all of what I am trying to do in my life, in, in my pursuit of God, in my pursuit of glorifying Christ, because I've realized that there's a lot of decisions in life, a lot of opportunities that we're gonna get that are gonna be nerve wracking, and it's gonna feel like if you take one more step, you're just hurling yourself off of a cliff. It's gonna feel vulnerable, it's gonna feel risky, it's gonna feel even dangerous, maybe a little bit reckless. But if we step away from the edge, we will step away from meaning and purpose and contribution into apathy. Sometimes the most meaningful things, the most uplifting things to, 
for other people, whether that's a conversation or doing something kind for a friend or an enemy or asking a girl out or starting a business or going to college, any of these things feel vulnerable to us and it feels like we're hurling ourselves off the edge of the cliff. But if we just decide, instead of having that conversation, if we just go watch a movie or if instead of starting that business, we just, you know, read our books or instead of going to college, we just take the the easiest job in town. I'm not saying that those things are wrong, that's the thing, is that apathy isn't a fight against wrong, against sin. It's a fight against the path of least resistance. Shopping in CVS, getting my stuff. So my question to you is, what is your cliff? What are you facing that is kind of nerve-wracking? You, you don't really want to do it because it maybe scary, it's maybe vulnerable. I would challenge you to, yes, uh, seek God about it, seek counsel, um, pray about it, you know, make sure you have peace about doing it. But then, whether it's vulnerable or not, do it. Do it anyways. Because anything great and meaningful that you do, any contribution, any strong contribution to society, any encouragement, it's going to take a certain amount of vulnerability on your part. It's going to feel sometimes like you're hurling yourself off the edge of a cliff. Don't let that hold you back. Don't let apathy lull you into boredom. Hey guys, we want to come to the end of our lives and say, I don't regret anything like Paul in 2 Timothy. Paul has no regrets about his life. He's completely satisfied that he fought the good fight, finished the race. There is no regret at the end of Paul's life and we want to go into old age. We want to go into this next year with no regret. Maybe you don't know what's in front of you. Maybe you don't see the opportunities that are right in front of you. So my challenge to you is find something. Find something that scares you a little bit and do it. Conquer that fear. I eventually jumped ah! off of that cliff. It took me five minutes to finally work up the courage to take that step, but I eventually did, and I am so glad that I took that risk, that I, that I hurled myself off of that cliff, because the experience was so enjoyable. It added so much joy and pleasure to my life and to my accomplishments, and almost more than anything was the pleasure of overcoming my fear. And so that's my challenge to you this week. I identify those things, those opportunities in front of you that kind of scare you a little bit, that kind of make you nervous. Try some of those things out. It could be as simple as having a conversation with somebody you don't know very well, somebody at school or somebody on the street. It could be as simple as jumping off of a cliff into water. Don't do that unless you know or you're with someone who knows what they're doing. Don't be foolish. Don't do stupid things. Think rationally about these things. But don't let fear hold you back from doing things that add joy and meaning and pleasure to your life. The point isn't to run around in your life doing all kinds of crazy stupid things, you know, always risking your neck. The point is to do things that are meaningful, that add value to your life, that add value to your friend's life. Doing things with your friends that establish memories that you'll go back to for the rest of your life. Helping people, encouraging someone, giving meaning to their life, adding meaning to their life. And I think any time we do those things, it's going to feel vulnerable, it's going to feel uncomfortable, we're going to feel fear, uncertainty, and doubt. One of those three. But it's good. It's, it's meaningful. I don't think you'll have any regrets that you've done it. So I posit my question to you again. If you were standing on the edge of a 45 foot precipice, and in some ways you probably are, there's probably something in your life that feels like curling yourself off of the edge. Would you jump? Will you jump?
thanks for watching this video. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you disagree with me about my idea that m meaning in life comes with vulnerability and risk, do you agree or do you disagree? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you've done a risk, if you've done something vulnerable already, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, tell me in a comment or in a video. I'd love to hear what you guys are, are, are facing. If, if there are struggles and scary things that you're facing right now, I'd love to know about it. I'd, I'd love to, to see what you guys are wrestling with and I'd love to see you guys conquer your fears like I conquered my fear by jumping off of that cliff. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have subscribed, hit that bell so that our videos show up on your homepage and you're notified of them. Give this video a thumbs up because it's a big help. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless you guys.